I am the low one guru and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a very common problem of the Acer One netbook I'm talking about the black screen of death it's called that way because you try to turn it on and everything you get is a black screen you can see that the netbook is turned off I'm going to push the button here to turn it on and everything I get is a green light but nothing else the screen remains black and that's it if you have this problem you will have to fix it no problem it's kind of easy I'm going to teach you how to do it what we're going to need in this case is our broken Acer 1 and we're going to need a USB flash drive in this case uh, I will be using a Kingston Data Traveler it's 512 megabytes but any size will do what you don't want to use is either a, a USB memory card reader like a SD reader you don't want to use an MP3 player or MP4 player or whatever similar thing it's not going to work in this case we need a regular USB flash drive the first thing we're going to be doing is setting up the USB flash drive so we can use it and before we can set up the USB flash drive we have to get the files so let's go to the Acer official website we can find the address in Google once we're in the website we go to service and support driver download we have to select the product family that's netbook then aspire one and then we have to find the particular model notice that if I need to know what is the exact model what I can do is look in the bottom and somewhere around here I can see a like a label and the label has some numbers and stuff over there and pretty close to the top right corner of the label I can see AOA150 that is the model the particular model of this of this Acer One netbook this information will come useful if you want to find the exact software for the BIOS of this particular laptop or any software you're trying to download from the official website we choose the model and then down here we can choose BIOS that's what we need then we can see the latest version here is 3310 and we download the file make sure you put it in a folder that you can find go to the folder where you downloaded the BIOS file to unzip it you can right click on the file and choose the WinRAR option extract here it will be automatically extracted then you go into the folder and there you can see the files for the BIOS okay next go to the my computer icon on the desktop so you open the my computer screen where you can see the drive units you have in your computer then plug the USB drive into the computer and you will see it pops up then right click on it and select format then choose the file system FAT okay FAT not not the one FAT32 it has to be FAT only then select start and then on this confirmation screen accept it will tell you that the format has been completed and then you have to open the window where we have the files we downloaded from the Acer website go to the folder 
VOS underscore flash and there you will find a file that has the version number we mentioned before in my case was 3310 we have to rename it just click on it and then click again and it will allow you to rename it also you can right click on it and choose change name the name we have to give this file is Z as in zebra G as in George 5 I as in India A as in Apple 3 2 dot F as in Frank D as in David that's the name of this file the new name and we just press enter and renamed and then we can open the USB flash drive select the file we just renamed and also flash it dot exe and then copy those files to the USB flash drive and that's it the USB flash drive is ready to be used okay now I already have my USB flash drive already set up and let's make sure that the netbook is also set up. Notice that right now the power is off. Make sure your power cable is connected and you're getting a green light here and no orange lights over here. If you have an orange light, just let it charge until it goes away. The keys we're going to be using are going to be the FN key located here in the lower left corner of the keyboard is FN. We're also going to be using the escape key. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is connecting the USB flash drive to any of the USB slots of the netbook. And making sure that it's fully connected all the way in, right? So we don't have any problems with that. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be pressing FN holding FN, pressing escape, holding the escape key, so I have both keys pressed and hold, and I'm going to be pressing the power button right now, and I'm going to hold it for a while until I can see that the green light turns on and starts blinking. Once the green light starts blinking, I can release the power button and release these two over here. And I can already see that the light of the flash drive is already working. Something's going on here, right? So we can see that it's reading the memory, the, the USB flash drive. The only thing we have to do is like wait for up to seven minutes. That's how long it could take. should be something between one and seven minutes. That's what the official Acer website says. If everything has gone right, then our computer will magically come back to life. And you will not lose any of your data. Your Windows XP will be working and all your data will be intact and you don't need to send it to any Acer technical support and you're probably going to be saving a lot of time a lot of problems a lot of money with shipping and stuff whatever and that's it if you liked this tutorial please subscribe to my videos and every week you will find a new review or tutorial or information about low-end systems or uh, low-end products. I am the low-end guru and I wish you a great day.